Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a malicious Chrome browser lookalike. This story comes from an article on PC Risk as well as some analysis on the Malware Bytes blog. Both these organizations found a piece of software which the industry calls a PUP. This stands for a Potentially Unwanted Program. These are programs that aren't necessarily directly or, or for sure malware, but they're programs that might pop up unwanted advertisements or might uh, follow a bad privacy practices where they will monitor you. In either case, both these organizations found something they called the eFast Browser. This is a browser that was created using Google's Chromium free open source browser, and it looks very much like your normal Chrome browser. However, this browser is definitely something you don't want. It's semi-malicious. It will actually pretend to look like Chrome and try to take over a Chrome installation if you have one. It actually associates itself with some of Windows's file and URI or URL associations. That means if you interact with certain files like HTML files or pictures, or if you go to a HTTP or FTP link, rather than uh, browsing with your normal Chrome browser, it's going to force this eFast browser to come up. The browser even aggressively tries to replace Chrome's shortcuts with its own shortcuts. Now on the surface, this will look just like Chrome. However, it does a lot of unwanted activities. It will do all kinds of advertising pop-ups, and it seems to follow your browsing practices and share that with the attackers. This means you could be redirected to sites you don't want to go to. Most of the time, it seems to just be doing clickjacking where it pops up unwanted advertisements, but this could easily be a malicious site as well. So long story short, you do not want the eFast browser. So how do you get this particular browser? Well, the people behind it actually pretend it's legitimate, and they actually package it with other free downloads. As you're downloading free software, you need to be very careful to pay attention to some of the things happening during the installation. Oftentimes, this free software tries to force additional software on you, and they do this to help pay for the free software. So two tips here. One, when you do download free software, be very careful where you download it from. You know, just downloading software from the internet can be dangerous. But two, even when you're downloading legitimate free software, pay attention to the installation process. If it's saying it wants to add some sort of browser plugin or some sort of new piece of software on top of what you, you downloaded yourself, be very careful when considering whether or not to allow that additional software. I personally don't recommend it. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.